Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Lover Drive here, and today we're playing some Entropia Universe. What we're going to be doing today is doing a 50 PED hunt. We're going to be hunting whatever we can find around Jason Center. And in addition to that, we're going to be talking about some really big updates that have come to Entropia Universe. And there's two updates here that we've got to talk about. So first off, twin tokens. Those are now lootable by any mob. That is huge. That changes the game. That adds sort of a new element that players can hunt for. So basically what twin tokens are is they're tokens that you can loot, then you can trade them for items. Really, really good items for those of you wondering. So yeah, they are definitely worth it. And basically being able to loot these tokens is really nice for players because now it gives a lot of players a new way that they can sort of make some profit or have a chance at profit while hunting. Previously, twin tokens were not lootable from all mobs which meant they were sort of limited to more advanced players that could loot them and now anyone from your average newbie to your super advanced uber can loot these tokens and if you're wondering why i'm hunting robots that are so low leveled it's because this is what i found i'm going to try and find my way in and see if we can't get anything a little bit crazier but it is what it is i wanted to take out the vigilante armor i wanted to do a hunt so this is what we're doing i did try to do the robot event that's going on right now but this armor is not good enough for them and if you're wondering just how good this armor is it's a vigilante armor which isn't too bad in my opinion and i've even got plates on this so the fact that these this armor wasn't good enough for um some of these event mobs did did disappoint me a bit and there wasn't a big enough group hunting them right now that i could just join in and do okay anyways anyways yeah twin tokens now are lootable i think that's how we say them twen tokens are now lootable from any mobs that's really good like just that that's actually what brought me back to hunting so if you're wondering what serial overdrive has been up to because pretty much i haven't really been doing many entropia universe videos um so yeah, it's been a while since I did my last Entropia Universe video, and that video was crafting, because that's what I've been doing recently. I'm trying to get to the level 10 uh, mechanical engineering, so that's pretty much where all my spare PEDs have been going. I've just been grinding out crafting, grinding out explosive projectiles. It's nothing fun, nothing I need to record, and it actually works out perfectly for me, because here's the thing. I don't have a ton of time to game, and there's, there's some really good games out there. You got Baldur's Gate. You got... So, sorry. <laughs> 9.78 PDs, that's pretty good. So yeah, you've got Baldur's Gate, you got Starfield, those are two really big hitters I've just been sort of obsessed with for the last two months, I guess. And when I say obsessed with, I mean, that's where my gaming time goes. And when I say gaming time, I mean about one hour every night. But yeah, I've been, I've been going hard on those. And then in addition to that, you got a Cyberpunk DLC coming out soon. And for those of you who don't remember, Serial Overdrive really likes Cyberpunk. So yeah, there's been a lot of other stuff I've been occupied with, additional family stuff and just hobbies and everything like that. So I haven't had a ton of time to play the game, but I feel like I've still been able to sort of keep one foot into the game by just AFK crafting. I know it's something that people, a lot of people probably look down on a little bit. But you shouldn't look down on it because all I'm doing is adding to the loot pool. I'm taking a pretty decent hit to the wallet there to hit the PED card. For those of you wondering when I say PED card and wallet, like, the reason I'm a little... Ooh, look at that. We got a twin token right there. Bing, bang, boom. Not bad, actually. I didn't think I'd get it right away. So, yeah, here you go. This is the twin token. Um, you can check it out. You can see the market value on this thing. Um... I really wish they'd put PDs there because this is just very confusing. But yeah, they're tradable, auctionable. So even if you don't plan on getting a ton of them, you, you can actually just go out and um, hunt for them and then sell them. And the markup is probably going to get you a nice little profit. I think right now they're selling for a couple PDs. So in a 50 PD run, like getting one of those tokens, it can, it can make up for a decent bit of loss, right? Um, but anyways, yeah, twin tokens. Lootable now by any mob. It's a good reason for people to get back into the game. It's something new you can loot. And later on, we might go over what items you can loot for them. I think I think the item seller is probably located in Twin Peaks, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I need to look into that. But yeah, you, you can just go to a seller. You can get some really cool items with them if you manage to collect enough. Most of us will not collect enough, so what most of us are probably going to need to do is just sell the tokens. Um... Yeah, but that, that's twin tokens. The more interesting change, the change that I think a lot of people are probably here for is resistances. So there's been a change to the game. There's been a, been, been a change to the way that the game is going to be played out from, from sort of now on. And I don't know, I, I feel like this game is probably like, let's, let's go over the change first. 
So the change is that mobs now have different resistances. Some mobs are going to be able to resist certain types of damage, and when that happens, you're going to get a notification. It's going to tell you that the mob resisted that damage, and um, that means that you're going to be doing less damage because of it. So basically, you're now going to have to pair your gear with the mob that you're attacking, um, which I think is very interesting. Let's see. Actually, let's go to introduce... Kill this, kill this. There we go, just system. Let's see. I, I'm not seeing anything that says like the mob resisted the damage. I was hoping that we'd get something like this. You're seeing the attack missing, but you're not seeing any sort of like mob resisted the damage type. But just to give an example of what I'm talking about here, and then we're gonna go into why this is actually such a huge change. I've got a bunch of guns in my inventory. So let's, uh, let's view the information on this gun. So what you're gonna see here is this gun does penetration and burn damage. Okay, not bad, let's check another gun, right? A lot of these guns, that's what they're gonna do, by the way. So like if you check another gun, again, this is gonna be doing, where do we have it, where do we have it? Burn damage, penetration damage. Not really good gun, so it is what it is. Now let's check out this weapon right here. This is a trainer. You can see this one should be doing a different type of damage, I believe. Text per minute. So this one does cut damage, okay? So it's cut damage that it does. Um, let's, let's, let's check out something a little bit different, something that shoots a little bit of things that go boom, boom. So what does this one do? This does burn impact shrapnel damage, okay? Now, I, I don't know if a shotgun's been, gonna be different. Let's check this out. So what does this one do? Impact penetration, okay. So you can see all these guns do different damage, and then you've got mind force, which does something else. And the reason that this change is so big is it becomes, it, it now means that if you want to be the most efficient player in Entropia Universe, you will be pairing your gun with what you're attacking. Or you're going to be pairing your weapon with what you're attacking, I should say. It no longer means that we can just go out using the same gun for the same mob, or for every mob and assuming it's going to work. Just like when you go out with armor, like I'm, I'm fighting robots, I want vigilante armor. I've got ghost armor, but it's not as good as vigilante armor, so that's what I put on. If I was a serious hunter of one specific mob type, what I would probably be doing is I'd probably be going the extra step. I'd be getting a limited armor that had more damage for that mob, and then I could just go a little bit harder, hunt mobs that are a little bit higher to get. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, so one mob that I've always wanted to hunt was Hoglo. Managed to make that a thing. Um, got the Mayhem Harness, like the Mayhem Armor set. That was actually gifted to me. Shout out to, oh man, this was so long ago. I forget who gifted it to me, but someone post down below who it was because um, I should, oh man. It was, a, it was a big armor seller. I made a whole video on it. Go look at the video. Give them credit. But um yeah, this was like years ago, but they, they gifted me this Mayhem armor, still super appreciative of it. Um, but yeah, like you can see, this armor has a ton of protection, a bunch of different things. It's going to be the same with guns now. Like when you're hunting a mob, you're going to look into what that mob's good at, what it's not good at, what damage it can take, and you're going to need to pair your gun with that. That's going to have some ramifications though, because for those of us using limited weapons, not so much. It just means every time we run out of a gun, we're going to need to pay attention to what we're buying next. Maybe some of our skills that we have are going to need to be skilled up a little bit to get the best sort of fit, but it's not as big of a difference as it's going to be for people who have invested or invested, I said that with quotation marks, because let's be honest, this is a video game. You, you, you can call it an investment, but is it really? Ooh, another twin token. Maybe these things aren't worth as much as I thought. Um, Oh, that was, that was good, 149. You inflicted 149.4 points of damage, critical hit. Um, but yeah, basically, if you have a gun that is not a limited gun, that gun could be losing quite a bit of value depending on what mobs are resistant to what types of damage. So for instance, let's say you've got a gun that does mostly impact damage, and all of a sudden, 90% of the mobs are resistant to it. I don't think that's going to be the case, but let's say maybe one super popular mob is resistant to impact damage. Your gun value just dropped a lot because a lot of people aren't going to want to buy that gun because they're going to want something they can hunt their favorite mob. So back in the day, one thing that people used to like is they used to go up to Crystal Palace, which they call CP. This was before CP meant something else. Um, but they'd go up to Crystal Palace and they'd be hunting um, a Ruli or however you say it, right? When they're hunting these mobs, they need gremlin armor because gremlin armor is sort of best for that damage type, the acid, right? 
That's the reason I bought Gremlin Armor. That's the reason a lot of players have bought Gremlin Armor. And that helped the Gremlin Armor price go up. Vigilante, the reason that price goes up or stays somewhat high, decently high, and sort of those same armors is because it's good against robots and people like to hunt robots. Some cold armor isn't worth as much because there's cold, like there's not as many cold mobs that people really like to hunt. It's going to be the same with guns. If you have a gun or a weapon right now that previously was worth a lot, it could drop in value just because more and more mobs are going to be resistant to that damage type. And it really depends. We, we don't know how this is going to play out yet. We know it's sort of been introduced. I think Mindark is testing the waters and it's going to depend how players feel about it. But honestly, I think this is a pretty big win for your average player. But for some of the big guys, this has to be big guys and girls, I should say, and not in wait necessarily maybe i don't know them but um no no for them I, I it's probably something that they're a little bit apprehensive about because they don't really know where this is going to go it, it could go in a direction that really doesn't affect them and i think that's the most likely scenario but there's always the case that there's some sort of blowback some sort of issue something that um comes back to bite them maybe they put a little bit too much money into something that isn't as worthwhile as they thought and yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of Ubers that are a little bit scared right now. I'm sure there's a lot that don't care because some of these guys just, you know, they're putting in money that they can afford to lose. And that's really how you should be playing this game. It's, it's a game after all. It's not, you, you, you shouldn't treat it like the stock market. It's a game, right? Like the money you go in, the money you should, the money you put in should be treated like a monthly subscription fee. Whatever you think it is worth to play this game month after month is what you should be putting in, right? If you're, if you're an average player, right, like an MMO subscription, I don't even know what they are anymore, maybe like 5 to $15, let's say. Like, if that's what you're going to be putting in, maybe just survive on $5 a month, right? And then at the end of it, maybe you're, oop, we got to use some weapon cells and we're going to teleport back. Look at that. We've already got 44 BEDs just of uh, weapon cells. Uh, Shrap now. Um, let's, let's, let's teleport back here. But yeah, like if you're the average player, if you're the average player in this game, you, you, you know, put $5 and put $15 a month and put whatever it is that you're comfortable with. And it's not for me to set, like, I've always said this over the years. I've, I've been making Entropia Universe videos for almost a decade now. I'm a little bit, I've laid off Entropia a little bit more, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. Guys and girls, again, we're, I try to be inclusive. I say, when I say guys, it's an all-inclusive statement. It's, uh. I'm a product of the time I was born, I guess, or the time I was raised, or the time I was a youth. And anyways, no, like what I'm trying to say though is it, you shouldn't be putting too much money into the game and expecting to get it back. But at the same time, like, you know, you, you probably do want to be putting something in if you want to get the best possible experience. I was lucky. I'm a free to play player. I got in when trading was still pretty easy to do, managed to trade my way up. I bought some CLDs, kept reinvesting, and it turns out if you just keep reinvesting your money, it grows. Um, cra crazy, crazy, but that that's just how it works, it seems. Um, not, not investment advice, but it worked out for me. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I let, I let time do the rest. But yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, um, let's, uh, let's give this a go here. Look at these Twitch ads. You got Lore Spade here. Lore Spade, shout out. Great, great person. Go subscribe to Lore Spade. He does a lot of good Entropia Universe videos. I'm, I'm not sure about the other people, but they're probably good too. Um, anyways, let, let's add this up. Let's see where we're at here. Because again, we went out on this hunt. We, we didn't get any globals, didn't do anything crazy. This was from a little bit earlier, but this was counted in the 50 PD run. I went and tried to foolishly participate in the event and was properly blown away. So here we go. We got 44.54 PEDs. We got 14.78 PEDs here. So let's do a little bit of serial overdrive math. We're going to round that up and bring it over to, what are we talking? Maybe like, um, uh, yeah, maybe like six. No, sorry. 59 PEDs. Does that sound about right? 44 plus 14. I think that's about 59 PEDs. Uh, wait, wait. 59 PDs. All right. So you got nine PDs overage here, but we got we got to account for the repair costs. So let's go ahead, hit that repair terminal, and see how bad this has gotten for me. Nine PDs, 8.49 PDs. So we pretty much broke even. And in addition to that, let's check out these twin tokens. 
it's probably gonna be some twin items here too like so little, little, one item one token selling for two pds it seems like nobody really bid on that but if we look at buyouts 10 tokens 25 pds you can assume about two pds a token it seems like that's a fair price uh 27 tokens someone put a bid in for 54 so i think two pds a token is pretty good we got two tokens so we're walking away with about 50 we're walking away with about four pds of profit none of this stuff has an insane markup or any sort of markup that's going to pull us back from you know the brink of destruction if you will um but yeah, that's not bad. Four PDs. We got some twin tokens. Got to make a cool video. Let's head to uh, Twin Peaks here if we can. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to see if we can't find that twin token item seller so we can Google and ogle at some of these crazy items. I think it's Twin Peaks. I'm not 100% sure though. It, it's Look, you can tell I haven't been playing this game a ton, but I, I want to stay true. Like, I know there's some people who really do enjoy Serial Overdrive and Tropia Universe videos. I enjoy making them, so we'll keep them going, even though it's probably going to kill my channel. Uh, that's one of the problems with YouTube, right? Like, I jump over to Starfield, and it starts, like, shedding, shedding subscribers. Do you think it would be smart enough the algorithm would know, like, all right, Serial Overdrive put Starfield in. This isn't, like, the, uh, this isn't the video to, uh... Yeah, there we go. It's one token shader. This isn't the video to show to them, but no, they don't. Ooh, that guy's got some cool armor. Anyways, let's check it out. Here's what we've got, right? So you've got AR Matrix, twin edition BP. So this is costing what? Um, is that 50,000? Yeah, that is 50,000 tokens. 100,000 tokens. Like, you, you can see these are some crazy tokens amount. Like, 7,000... 500 tokens you got this chip here that's 100,000 tokens and remember two pds a token so when you see 100,000 think a all right and, and you and 200 pds so it's pretty much like a 200,000 ped thing okay uh you've got some armor here so again this is 15,000 per piece yeah 15,000 per piece that is insane so that's 30,000 PEDs. That is a stack and a half, if you will. You've got some uh, laser sights. you got some precision scopes. I'm Actually, I am surprised that's 100,000 tokens. What are the stats on this thing? Does this give you a boost? Increases critical chance by one percentage point. That, that's why. That is somewhat valuable. That, that's pretty valuable, actually. Two percentage points right there. Look at that. You put your laser sight on. What is this going to give you? Increases critical damage by 20%. Like these, these are actually very big numbers. And I know if you look at this ring, look at this, look at this, look at this. These are huge. Increased critical damage by 20 percentage points. So th that, I think that'll stack. So you, you can get 40% extra crit damage. In addition, you're running faster, you're evading more, you're dodging more. Like that, that is significant. Look at this critical damage by 20%. That's a right handed ring, left handed ring. These two rings, that scope, critical damage, you can get a 1% increase to do the critical damage. And now you've got 60% extra damage that you're doing. So that shot I did that was 149. You're, you're not going to put this gear on that sort of gun. But if your gun's doing like 1,000 damage, now you're at 1,600. That is huge. That's a huge addition. I, I don't think people realize how big that is. Like, And what is this? Like, the, man, this is... these. These items are like OP. Um, yeah, th these are some crazy items. I, th I think there's going to be some really big players who pay a lot for these tokens because if you can get some of these items, like this is this is huge. It's huge. Um, and let, let's see what, what's the efficiency on a gun like this. Like this is just a random gun that we picked. I don't know if this is a good one or a bad one. Learning period 50 to 60, so pretty high learning period. 87.8% efficiency. That is, they, yeah. These, these are these are the best weapons in game right now. Like, I I I think like I don't think there's gonna be weapons that are much better than this. Like these are some of the high uh, yeah these these are probably some of the highest efficiency things in the game. Um. So yeah, I mean, people collecting those twin tokens, they're they're gonna get some crazy stuff. Um. Even this, like eighty four point two percent. This is a gun that I could easily use. Um. But it's it's two hundred thousand. Yeah, 200,000 PDs, 20,000 USD. That is a lot of money. For those, whoopsies. 
Sorry about that. For those of you wanting, that is much more than my account's worth. Um, I'm, a, I'm a free-to-play player. I've done pretty good for myself, I'd say. My account's worth maybe like 10,000 USD. And that's over 15 years of playing the game. Yeah, I've played this game for a while. But yeah, that, 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 is, that is legitimately insane. That's legitimately insane. I, I don't know if twin tokens are actually going to hold their price. So I feel like two PDs might be a little high given everything. But it is what it is. Anyways. That is the latest and greatest in Entropia Universe. And to be honest, I'm, I'm excited about it. I, I think these are some huge changes, and I think this is just getting, getting us ready for something that's around the corner, and that's going to be that Crytek update. Sorry, Crytek update. Crisis Engine was a while ago. I do remember Crisis Engine, but that's not what I'm talking about. It's going to be that Unreal 5 update. That thing is going to change the game in hopefully good ways. But yeah, that's Entropia Universe. That's the latest news. This is Serial Overdrive. I'll see you around. Until next time, peace.